Texas 140-day legislative session is over. Lawmakers passed what they felt necessary to keep the state running until 2017 with the largest budget in Texas history. They also cut business and property taxes and put more money into pre-K programs, roads, and border security. And now that our state lawmakers are back at home, the focus is shifting to the 2016 presidential race. On Thursday, former Governor Rick Perry is expected to announce he's running for president. KXAN's Phil Prazen has more. Within the KUT Public Media Studios, talk of politics is all about our former governor. Rick Perry. Rick Perry. Rick Perry is a very, very well-known quantity in Texas. Everybody knows who Rick Perry is. This week, we'll likely witness the rebuilding of the Rick Perry image after a failed attempt for president in 2012. I can't. The third one, I can't. Sorry. <laughs> Oops. Reintroduce Rick Perry and his record. I think a lot of folks didn't know in 2011, 2012, because when he entered the race, he really entered as a front runner. That's Ray Sullivan, who runs a super PAC supporting Perry. He talks about the rebrand to the Texas Tribune's Jay Root and KUT's Ben Philpot on the radio podcast, The Ticket. People are not looking for him to stumble. They're looking to see whether or not he can make a comeback. This is what Rick Perry does. Rick Perry runs for office and the idea that there would be some opportunity that he wouldn't take advantage of, I think, is, is very foreign to him. An announcement Thursday puts Perry up against dozens of Republicans elbowing each other for Texas votes and Texas money. The race for 2016 is expected to have seven candidates with Texas ties. After this week, our 47th governor will likely be one. Phil Prazen, KXAN News. Perry is holding a political event in Addison on Thursday. We will stream the announcement live at KXAN.com. It all starts at 11.30 in the morning. This will be Perry's second run for president, but this time he will be considered an underdog. Take a look at a new poll from CNN. In the race for the GOP nomination, Marco Rubio is on top with 14%. Jeb Bush is a close second, and Senator Ted Cruz is in fifth place. Now, if you look further down the list, you'll see Perry in the eighth place with 5% support. Chris Christie and Donald Trump are just behind Rick Perry. By comparison, when Perry made his announcement in August of 2011, he quickly rose to the top of most of the polls. Within a few weeks, a CNN poll found Perry ahead of Mitt Romney by seven points.